This video is to introduce the step-by-step -step process of using the orb. Uh, the orb is going to be uh, showcased here by my son, Kenny. And the first thing we're going to show you is our objective to reach a weightless feeling of the orb, which we will translate into a bowling ball. Kenny has an eight pound orb. I'm telling you, when you have an eight pound orb, it feels heavier than a bowling ball when you first get it. So our first objective is I'm gonna have Kenny swing the orb. I want him to create enough momentum in the front to get it up to the height of his swing and then purposely separate his hand. I want the hand to actually come off of the orb. I don't want it to stay on the orb at this point in time. Go ahead, Kenny. That's exactly what I want to see happen. That creates the momentum you need in the front to get the orb back to the height of the swing you choose. Now the goal is to make it weightless. So you have to learn to follow the weight of the orb. You'll need to do the drill we just showed you several times before you get the feeling of weightlessness. But if you learn to follow the weight of the orb, your hand will stay connected. Now we're gonna ask Kenny, there's a, two good examples of how to start out learning to use the orb. Now Kenny's been using the orb for about three weeks to a month now, and it really looks good. I'd like for you to see it from both the side and the back. So here we are, Kenny from the side, using the orb as he would on a regular basis. Okay. As Kenny goes and retrieves the orb, there's a couple things we can do. We like to do it on grass because it can really help you with speed control. You can set up different distances and try and get that orb to stop at those distances. I'm going to give you a front view of what it looks like. And this is for Kenny. Everybody will have their own style. So that's from the front view. Now I'm going to show you a rear view. What it's going to do, it's going to align your swing. It's going to fix the swing transition. In general, it's going to fix all of your fundamentals because the only way to do this is for your feet and your arm to be synchronized, the swing and the feet to be synchronized with the weight, the swinging weight of the orb. That's what it looks like. That's how simple it is. It, it changes your game very quickly. You're gonna realize at first, it, oh, this is way too heavy. It takes way too much muscle. Give yourself time, work up to it. Kenny is now wanting me to make him a 10 pound orb. So at the beginning, he said, this is heavier than a bowling ball. Now it's not heavy enough. That's the objective of what we're trying to accomplish. If you are a beginner, at the orb, at orbiting, I would recommend six pound orb for most everybody. This that Kenny is throwing is an eight pound orb, which I believe is probably too heavy for most people. Um, I have a mini orb that is meant for smaller hands that's four pounds. So we have four pounds, six pounds, and eight pounds of uh, usability. I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, feel free to send them to me. Thank you, and remember, it's Bowl U for all the right reasons.